Yes, we are emergency. We are depressurized. We do need to return back to. We have 177 passengers. The distress call from the pilot of Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 to air traffic control. A gaping hole in the side of the aircraft, full fuel tanks, and terrified passengers at risk of being sucked out of the cabin at 16,000 feet or nearly 5,000 meters up. We just heard like a loud thing. And I looked to my left, and there's just this huge, like, gaping hole. First, I thought it was the emergency door but there was no door there it was just like a part of the wall that flew off it could have been much much worse but the two seats next to the hole were empty we are the global gold standard for safety around the world but we have to maintain that standard we are very very fortunate here that this didn't end up in something more tra uh, tragic it was the external door plug which blew off, a door-shaped section of fuselage where a working door could be fitted, but in this case, the plug should have been bolted securely shut. Given that it is plugged, of course, it is expected to be a, a, a secure part of the structure of the aircraft, and that's why it's uh, all the more uh, surprising and a matter of concern that this, uh, this blowout happened. In response, Alaska Airlines said it was temporarily grounding its fleet of 65 MAX 9 aircraft as a precaution, pending the outcome of safety checks. The U.S. air safety regulator further ordered a total of 171 jets of the same model to be grounded until they too can be checked. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.